everybody it's Tamika I am here with a quick video on how I re-sticky my mats for my silhouette cameo I use a silhouette cameo for my cutting machine but I use Cricut mats and I also use this mat this is my favorite mat I get these from Amazon Air pack of three very inexpensive I think I want to I mean it's been a couple months since I purchased 10 to 12 dollars somewhere around there but I'll put the link down below you get three of them and they last a long time and then this is my third time reusing mat number one as you can see I accidentally stepped on it see that right there like why is this on the floor and I had to step it stepped on so now I need to re-clean it and then I got uh, the shoe mark and then I got some extra little fibers from um, some cloth that I was cutting so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one up and then while I'm cleaning I'm gonna clean my uh, Cricut mats I mean it's it's pretty it's pretty gunky it doesn't even stick anymore so um, you don't need a whole bunch of stuff it's super easy it will be done in like 10 minutes the max I mean it's just drying time which is not very long so get your dirty mats out and then you're going to need a scrubber. I usually use the little Dollar Tree uh, SOS ones. They already have the cleaning solution in it. You just need like a scrubber and some type of sudsy water. So I'm using this because this is what I have on hand. So I'm going to make this my craft one. This is a new one. These are from the Dollar Tree. Well, you get like a pack of eight or so. I'm going to use my dishwashing liquid. This is for my craft room too. It's been a year a plus. So I just use a little dot. And then you're just going to need a little bit of water. So I'm going to do this down here. I usually do it in the kitchen sink, but I'm going to do this down here because um, I don't want to bring up no video equipment up there and do all that. So just take your Cricut mat and then um, you want to drop, literally, guys, I drop a drop of dishwashing liquid on my mat or whatever mat. I don't use a Silhouette Cameo mat. They tear so easily and I just don't like them. So my Cricut mat works fine you just got to adjust your settings so I'm gonna pour a little bit of water on here and I'm gonna wet my sponge I'll be right back alright got my wet sponge and I'm literally just gonna clean like I said I usually do this over the uh, the kitchen sink right there on the counter get it all cleaned up but I can do it right here and, and the most time that this takes besides scrubbing make sure you get all the corners all the gunk the most the, the thing that takes the longest is the drying time I mean really that's and that's not really a very long time I hope I'm not shaking the camera too much you want to make sure you get all the sticky if you have something on here that's stuck stuck you want to go ahead and scrape that off first all right I like to take a little feel across and make sure I I got all the fibers and stuff up footprints and I think that's it okay I'm gonna set this aside real quick and I'm gonna do the other one while we're sitting here so I could use the same suds that I use it for but this one is a lot more dirty or a lot dirtier and then we're just gonna pour some water on here and get it off yeah this one's a lot more dirty this needs a little bit more elbow grease not much you will definitely get an arm workout if your mat is dirty all right just gonna feel make sure it's nice and smooth And these little marks are me not paying attention to my blade and it's cutting deeper than I'm supposed to cut all right I'm gonna go rinse both of these off I'll be right back all right both of the mats are um, dry now if you have time you want to go ahead and let these air dry um, but if you don't and you're impatient like me you just want to dry them off so you can see there's no sticky left on this mat because I'm using a paper towel so all the sticky is gone on both of these mats so those are both dry so now you want to grab your painters tape um, if you don't have painters tape you can get this at the Dollar Tree but if you don't have this you can use washi tape which I've done just a little a little tip or not tip but just FYI 
it doesn't well the washi tape that I use don't stick very well so they'll kind of pull up so you just you got to use a little bit of extra force I guess but I like using the painters tape and I and it lasts me a long time plus I use it on other projects but what you want to do is just tape off where you do not want the adhesive to go so I, I literally just follow the guidelines on the mat <clears throat> all the way around I don't go just to the line because I don't want to go over but I go right up to the line and just add my adhesive you can also use um, masking tape which you can get from the Dollar Tree too so I've used that I've used a lot of things that you know over the years but since I do other stuff with painters tape I just use that for that so but again you can tape but just use something you don't want to you don't want to freehand this part because then you get sticky on the top part of your mat where you don't want sticky and then when it's going through your rollers your rollers get to gummy you have to redo you know so just invest the dollar or use some of your washi tape and make sure that you tape off everything so whoops this is this mat i'm gonna do one at a time since i'm doing i want one to be drying while i'm doing the other so it's all taped off the piece the resistance what we use i don't i don't like i said i don't have much patience at all and my mat is dirty usually i find out my mat is dirty when i'm ready to use it like i use it for my projects and i put it down and i shut shut down shop when i'm over then i'm ready to do it again and then my mat is filthy i'm like ah! so i definitely don't have time to do that so what i use is Krylon Easy Tack Repositionable Adhesive. I have like three bottles of this stuff. And remember to get the repositionable one. I'll put it down a link in the description box so you guys can know exactly which one I'm talking about. But Easy Tack Repositionable. And I use this brand. So uh, what you want to do is I'm not going to do this on my craft table because I'm going to have I have a little spray box that I use because I don't want this glue everywhere. But um, what you want to do is just lightly, you know, shake your can step away a little bit from the mat not close you don't want it dot step away step away and do a spray just like this just like that and and then let it air dry you don't want to do it a whole bunch of times one time i usually go then maybe i'll put it in an angle see if i miss anything and then i'll spray right there but not really close you want to stand a good feet away you know a good this amount away when you're spraying so do that let it sit for like 10 minutes until it's not dry anymore take off your side piece your uh, your tape and you're good to go so i'm going to do that let it dry and i'm going to come back and do the cricket mat all right both of the mats are done and they are super sticky so if i put my hand on here i can pick it up oh, i can't really palm it but i can pick it up and then this one too so very sticky mat so i am just going to remove my tape and we're good to go if you keep your um now it's sticking to everything if you keep your little plastic protective sheet on here um from when you first got your you know mat then of course put it back on to kind of um extend the life of your your mat but i mean you could always redo it so that repositionable adhesive is super inexpensive and i i have three cans just because i don't want to run out but um you keep one it lasts a very long time especially if that's all you're using it for is to redo your mats so that's it guys i hope you will try that so you may you may have already seen it i'm not sure but uh some people had asked me about it and i'm like yeah i'll show you how to do it when this next time when it's time for me to redo my mats so they are done they are sticky and they're ready to be used all right talk to you later guys like the video if you like it bye mm -hmm.